You're live. Yay, there we go. This was a bad week to do this. Oh, man. I'm right back in the... Uh, the lovely but eerie music. Moving that. Hello. Um, testing, testing. Um, happy Monday. How we doing? How we feeling? Can we hear me? Can we see me? We having fun? I'm, uh... Kind of avoiding social media right now just because of how much it sucks. So, shout out to everyone who found the stream organically. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, check the settings, set them to all, blah, blah, blah. Please, get me off of that horrible bird app. Follow me on anything and everything. But please, please. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I've just been avoiding it. I... Uh, hi, Gabriel, Lizzie, Nia V, Lindsay, uh, Galaxy Bunnies, gaming and fun. That sounds like a fun place to, like, go on a dad's weekend. Yeah. Um, always RA. Um, Unwinnie, hi. Hello, everyone. Good. I'm assuming the highs and the waves indicate you can hear me, at least. I feel like someone would be like, audio, audio, what's happening? Um, welcome back. Uh, we are playing more Franbo for the first time. Um... Uh, hi, oh, forgive me. Hi, Ligia Yako. I'm saying hi to everyone before I hide the chat so I don't see. I, I just feel like this is one of those games where someone's going to burst it and be like, did he find out Darth Vader's Luke's father? And then it's like, ah, shit. Um, you can be heard and seen well on my end. Perfect. Um, I'm in the middle. I just about finished um, my Nimona video, which should be dropping tomorrow. Um, that file's really freaking big. So I'm worried about the health of my MacBook that I use for streaming. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, we were introing this. It does come with a lot of content warnings. I put up the little text in the corner, but just in case you can't see it. Um, if you're worried about that kind of stuff, uh, the warning was at the beginning of the game in the previous stream, if you want to check that or just uh, Google it. Um, I like going in with no context. Um, that's a choice I willingly make. Um, spoilers. Yeah, sorry. It's only been around longer than existence. Um, for me, at least. Uh, what was I saying? Um, it does have themes, resources, just like blah, blah, blah. Resources, just like every video and stream, are linked in the description. Um, it's a card, so you need to just a list of resources for social awareness, mental health, crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them, uh, smash that like, subscribe, ring the bell, check the settings, set them to all. Um, consider donating if you can or becoming a member um, so you can use awesome custom emojis. If there's any members in chat, spam those beautiful little bill boys. Show them how it's done. Um, and uh, you can also help me um, narrow down my long list of games I'm interested in. Um, this was one that um, was brought up a lot in my list from the current members, and then we made a poll uh, for everybody. The members helped me make a poll, and then this won. So I just want it on record. Intrigued as I am and interested I am in most things, um, I am, I, y'all, y'all pointed me in this direction. I didn't wake up and go, this looks upsetting. Um, the beginning's really heavy, um, but we are, we are a tree, we just did our little scavenger hunt, and we're trying to become human again, figure out what happened to our parents, and, um, me and our lovely kitty, Mr. Midnight, are, I guess we're trying to, I, I don't know what the goal is other than finding our parents, and I guess trying to leave and live with our aunt, assuming that that's... A thing to want um but this game's been very heavy but like also really interesting um and i don't know I, enjoying always sounds like the wrong word for heavier things like this but i have been enjoying it and i'm interested in getting answers to my questions um did you find the book already you have to look in the library all right we're going to the library this afternoon let's go welcome to the library young man 
Oh, right. And I control the seasons. Ah, oh, crap. I was a Oracle of Ages boy. Shout out if you get it. While I try to navigate. I'm trying to remember how to... There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm great. I'm the best. The library was in the town. We can control the weather. And... Oh, yeah. And something bad happened to the... The critter that helped heal us a lot happened this game it's interesting because i'm trying to remember um because I was, I was oh i'll watch a recap and i realized it's gonna tell me how this ends so i haven't um but like we we were leaving like the woods and we ran into the scary goat head demon thing and um we like fell. Hello. What? Oh, are these the twins? But did we? Fuck. Do you remember, Fran? You are a murderer. You are nutty. Oh, come on, man. Naughty, naughty girls must be punished. Huh? Who, oh, it me? Do as I say. Do as I do, Fran. Jump. No! I guess we kind of did. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Um. Oh, my dear, don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of your head, my dear. Am I crazy, kitty? Tell me. God, this real... I thought we were just going to the fucking library and hanging out. So, yeah. This game's been fun. Um, no, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, oh, my kitty. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear. I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep going. Let's go to the library. Cool, at least I fucking went the right way. Does the demon have my skin? So yeah, shit like that keeps happening. It was the heaviest at the beginning. Like, holy crap. Uh, uh, uh stop right there. You know the password? Yes, I do. Yeah? All right, what is the password? Let me remember the words. It was something like, your eyes and ears are limited sensors. Shut shut, shut them down before learning. Mm, good, and why is that? Uh, because then we can see? Because only then can we really see? It's like the city. It was invisible to me before. Knowledge is everywhere, even in darkness and silence. You can come inside, have fun. I'm standing here. God, this is a lot. Hi. I'm glad everyone's having fun at the library. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, right, well, there went my idea. I thought if there was, uh, no, I guess it's 11, not 9. Never mind. I'll go for it myself. Do I have the answer to this already and I just forgot? Or is that the puzzle? Hello? Oh, thank you. Hello, what are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think some letters look very scary. So read something else? Maybe you should read something with a lot of pictures instead. Oh, yes. Some other day, dear. Now, if you don't mind, get the fuck out of my personal bubble. Wait, tell me which letters are scary. I need a, I need the code. Hello, sir. What are you doing? I'm looking for my special book. Why are you on the ladder? Sorry to ask, but why are you standing on that ladder? You have wings. Ah, uh, because this ladder was made to be used, of course. And what if I need it? What if I need to use it? Then you should wait your turn. 
But what if it's an emergency and I can't wait that long? Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Oh, right. Well, I can control time, so. You are irrelevant. I am a god. Oh, hello. What are you reading? Why aren't you reading? Oh, because I need to find a special book first. Ah, special books are nice. This one I'm reading is also very special. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll keep searching for my special book then. Uh... I see so many books. I don't think the Great Wizard book is on these shelves. Me neither. I have to go. No, I'm trying to click the crank. Can I not? This lever won't move. I have to open the lock first. Ugh, okay. Once. Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh, did you see, Kitty? There are many books in here. Indeed, my darling. I see them all around. Oh. Usually you give me little hints. Uh, can I not interact with any books? Oh, Kitty's taking a nap. How about now? I think so, yeah. Oh, there we go. Ah. Uh, So do I need to add it up to the total? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that is 10. Or is it just put it in numeric order? One, two, three, E, E1, E2, E2 with a line. Okay. One, one dot, two dots. Okay, let's start with that. One. So this is one. There are two ones. What's that number? Eleven. I had hope. I thought I understood this. I'm being punished with this load time. Let's do this again. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that's a so that's eleven, two ones. Do I need this to add up, or am I, is it counting? Three, five, seven, nine, no. Three, three, five, five, no. Oh my god. Two, three, it's, this isn't gonna help me at all. There are two ones. Fuck. Okay. It. Does anyone know where to go to get the first instruction on this puzzle? <laughs> or I guess I could just keep messing with time a bit more. Boo. Kitty. Oh. I thought Kitty found something. Is this the only season where I'm alone? Uh. Okay. Two ones and then eleven. Was it 
three. I already tried that in my head. Uh. Is it? Hold on. It might be that. Is it the math thing? Do you know? Uh, 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 uh. One, 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 two, three. Five. Five is E? Am I? Am I really? It's the only thing I could think of where it's one and then... Is it 11? I don't remember. Fuck me. No, does that have 11? I only knew this because of a fucking tool song that I've been listening to since I was like 12. I don't think that's right. Am I dumb? Uh, E is five. So then, yeah, then one dot is six, two dots is seven. Squiggle is eight, super squiggle is nine. Am I should I be talking to someone? Am I off base? No. Keep going. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next one's eight? No? That feels wrong. Yeah, no. Yes. No, it's not. Yes. Fuck, okay. <sighs> Black, then white are all I see in my infancy. Red and yellow, then came to be reaching out to me. F so five again? No, there's not a second five. Re Red and yellow then came to be reaching out to reaching out to me. Let's me see. That's another eight. I don't have that option. Am I getting it wrong? Uh, you know the answer? Yeah. Fuck. Was the eight wrong? No, you have everything right except that fucking last file. You don't have face. Uh Nine. It's no fun if I just gas. Oh, well, I guessed. <laughs> so what is so right? This is the. It's called something fancy. It's like the uh, cat, the Fibonacci sequence or whatever. Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. Shout out to Prague Rock. <laughs> Uh, was there something I was missing to be told to think about the Fibonacci sequence? What? When I believe it's Jack the guy who played this game, he used the same song to remember the sequence. Fuck yeah. Oh, that was, um... Oh, that was, um... I haven't really listened to any of Tool's newer stuff, but, yeah, that was, um... That was my first big, like, you can't find this on iTunes, even though, ironically, I think now they're on iTunes. Ugh, metal. Ugh. But, yeah, Ladderless was one of the first songs where, like, I really wanted to, like, figure out the meaning of the song. 
um, as opposed to like looking at the lyrics like I do with like Bruce Springsteen and stuff. Um, that was my first concert too. Was their Ten Thousand Days tour? I think it's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting. That's my first tour experience is seeing Duel at the Gorge when I'm like thirteen, thirteen or fourteen. That's the only thing it made me think of, so I'm, I'm glad it worked out, but I feel like an asshole. Oh, no, I didn't even open it. I just solved the puzzle, apologized for my music taste, and left. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Oh. Sorry, I just get excited when people compare me to, to Jacksepticeye. I should. I did push. Did I just keep pushing it? Ah! Oh, fuck! Hi? Okay. This must be the wizard's book. I can't reach it. How typical. But there's always something to climb on. Can I. Oh, there we go. Ugh! I thought you looked kind of cute, and then you did that. I need the book. He. <laughs> oh, I can't read it. Okay. Um. Well, that was kind of unsettling. Bye. <sighs> now I have that stuck in my head, along with "I'm a girl just like 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 like." That's um, girl like three R's, um, G R R R L like. Um, that's in Kipo and Demona. That's fuck. Ugh. Anyway, that's what I've been doing all weekend. <sighs> what a weekend. Anyway, back to the cave wizard. The time wizard. Oh, man. Remember when everyone said I'm basically Jacksepticeye? Like, that really meant a lot to me. Yeah. Remember when everyone was like, you're the, my favorite YouTuber ever? Oh, wait, never mind. Who's Jacksepticeye? You're only allowed to watch my content. That's how the internet works. Right, everybody? Pay your penance, like, share, subscribe, comment, donate, become a member. Pay your penance. In a strange turn of events, instead of ever apologizing to his community, Bill just makes them apologize to him. <laughs> uh, uh, I have bad posture from editing and screaming and crying why are you oh is that our concoction i'm like why are we pissing into that jar hey bud find the book already oh right i gotta i use on you sir here's your book it was inside the music box i saw the doll hey <laughs> the itward lock that sounds like fun thank you for the book this certainly makes me remember many things many 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 things and now what they're Two things left on the star. Yes, fish in the water. Fish, fish, swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go back home. Oh, I thought you were sending it to hell. I'm like, that's so mean. Wow, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings? Like humans? Oh, kiddo. Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Mm, so we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that the shoe, that my shoes are on the amazing dancer's feet. Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. 
Uh, do I know? I think I know. I'll go see. Shit. I should have been forthright. I don't have a ticket to get inside the bar. Don't you have your ticket? That's odd. Oh, can't... Oh, it's the place where they're like, you need... Okay. I don't know what to do to get inside. The dancer must be in there. You'll have to find out what to do. I can't tell you. Oh, fuck. All right, I'll see what I can do. Bye. Fucking... Capitalism. Fuck you, Live Nation. You're not getting fees out of me. Is that still topical? Can we still talk about that? I still haven't had a Grimace shake, and no one has sent me one, so... I'm, I'm so out of touch. That is not the way to the thing. I thought it was. Uh, this way. Do we get to help the healing critter creature? Also, that crash landing doesn't change depending on the season. Was it down? I think so. Down here? Ah, the Renaissance Fair. No? <sighs> Fuck, I don't remember how to get there. I'm lulled into a false sense of security right now. It's kind of nice. Um, I guess we'll go back up here. I know it was like outside, so it can't be in here, can it? Oh, I don't remember. I keep getting distracted by my own head movements and the the little stream preview thing in OBS. It's like, oh, uh, it's another bill, hello? Yeah, it's not this way. Mm. Or did I go to it and I was just in the like I was in the right room, just not the right season? Season of love? I want help. I want everything in this game to end up okay. And no more scary things. Kitty. Oh, here it is. I'm a silly. There we go. Hello again. Did you find your special ticket? The show's about to begin. Uh. No. Did you find your special ticket? Oh my god. Is. It looks like a tropical party place. I hope they open it soon. I must say something important. Like the party is about to start or something. Shit. Okay, well, how do I get... Chat, help. How in the world will we get the dancer's shoes? We'll figure it out. Let's go to the bar and see if the show has already begun. That's where I am, kitty. You find your special ticket? The show's about to begin. 
right here. There's nothing in the snow I can touch. Uh, I have a knife. Oh, can I bribe him? That'd be kind of cool. I was wondering if maybe I had... This won't work. I thought maybe I had a shovel. Oh, was it? What was this? I hardly. Negative. I don't. Special ticket. Knife. Um. Yes, please. The, well, the season thing is always in my hand. Where am I going? The wooden log. Like, the, the hut. The mountain hut? Yeah, climb down the mountain and explore further. To the right of the bar, such a big hill. Oh. Interact with the lo logs. Oh, there was a hole. Thank you, chat. There was a hole behind the firewood. Splendid. Now what? Kitty! Mr. Midnight, come here, my dear. Do you see that hole? Maybe you can go inside. Oh, are you sure? What if somebody sees us? I'll give you a secret sign if somebody cuz comes. I'll say, magic paws, all right? Then you have to come out right away. All right, dear. Here I go. I wish we didn't use such familiar language with our with the cat at times. Oh my god. Ooh, gimme. I guess that's a ticket. I should take it. Yes. Look at him go! I have the ticket. I have it. You're incredible, kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Like, there's times where it's wholesome, and there's times where it's like, they say deer too much. It's very odd, but maybe this is a me thing. I've never called my, one of my pets deer. Which is ironic, because I had a pet deer. Um, oh, right, now I gotta... Here you go. Look, sir, it seems that I, a ticket found its way into my hands. What? Let me see it. Mm, that can't be right, it just can't. I already let someone in with this ticket. You bring me many mysteries, little lady. Uh, how do you know it was somebody else's ticket? The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. This belongs to someone much older than you. I can see it. Uh, no? Any chance I can get inside? Is it possible? When you get your own ticket, little lady, we'll be more than welcome. Oh, combine. My bad. Uh, boop. What? Draw on it. Kitty stole it. This ticket looks like the exterminator card I found in Antonio's house. Oh. Just... Ticket, Fran and Kitty can go in party. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Okay, here you go. Look, sir, I think this is my own ticket. Oh, I see. You simply drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever, little lady. Well, I guess I can let you in. Enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. Okay, that did work. Oh, and it was a bee. Good. I'm scared of bees, so they torment me. Um, give me your shoes. Hello, sir. I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? He's, concentr he's concentrating, I think. Arg. Well, then, no music. This is a town that bans music. Oh, the self-playing piano has a door down there. How curious. I won't bother them now. I can wait until they stop playing. El hello, miss. You having a good time? Have you seen my ticket? I think um, I have to go. My mother-in-law is calling. 
Oh, hello. You came. How nice. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, very much, but I need the dancer's shoes, and I don't know how to get them. Ah, see, I like to dance. He's a very good dancer. I've never seen him fall. Get it? Because it's fall right now. Uh, so he's like the best dancer in the world? The world? I would say the universe. He always follows the beat. I see. Well, thank you. I have to go. Bye. Whoa. Well, that was fucking terrifying. Okay, at least I was right. Hello? Hello, would you like an autograph? What's the trumpet player doing? Not really. Well, I keep doing that by mistake, where I read the option and then I say that the character says the dialogue. Ugh, it's frustrating. Uh, what is the trumpet player doing, sir? Ah, uh, he's fixing the piano! The tune must be perfect so we can start the show! I see, thank you. Oh, the self-playing piano has a door down there. How curious. Oh. Uh, talk to the... No? Give me your shoes. Hello, dancer. Bister, I really need your shoes. And why is that? The shoes belong to the dancer. I'm a dancer. And I need them to uh, dance with the wizard. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? I want your shoes. You want what? A little lemonade? You seem a little tense. No, I don't want any lemonade. Where did you get your shoes from? Ah, you should drink a little lemonade, at least to quench your thirst. That better mean literally lemonade, right? We are a child. The great wizard needs them. Sir, let me explain. I need your shoes. The wizard needs them. Oh, but that's impossible. I can't give you my shoes. The only way to get my shoes is to take them from me, and as you see now, I'm standing on them, so it's impossible. But if you raise your feet, I can take them. Mm, it can't be done. Only on the very day when both my feet are up in the air, only then can my shoes be taken. Otherwise, I will stand forever. I see. Well, thank you. Bye. All right, time to park with this. Speed up the tempo. Hello? Would you like an autograph? No, I want to do the thing. It's fixing the piano. Okay. How nice. You enjoying the show? I need the dancer's shoes. Okay. Do I need to put something on the stage and then time travel? Nothing I have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing I have is, like, slippery. Kitty, stop doing that. This is a family stream. Ish. PG-13. It's kind of where... You know, like, you can't be too kid-friendly, but you can't be too unad friendly It's annoying. Me. Okay, now he's dancing. Yeah, I think if I made the tempo higher. Right? This one looks very old. Okay. Yeah, and then it kicks me out. Huh. Do I need something from outside of the bar? Oh, what if Kitty goes in when it's closed? Kitty's tired of being illegal. Okay. Never mind. I thought I was being super smart. Meh. Check me back inside. Uh... I need... But he, I can't talk to the second one. Uh. Shit. I'll, I'll go home. On, oh, sorry. I never thought that they actually have a life. 
being introspective about the bugs. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Do you by chance know a certain Mr. Antonio the Greatest? Of course, he was a huge trumpet player a few years ago. My mother loved his music. Oh, so he was real. I saw him in the human world. He's very old now. Really? Wow, the human world. Well, you yeah. know. When we grow old, we all go to visit other realities to see if we've missed anything. Oh, that's why he was there in my reality. We humans don't do that, I think. Oh, it's quite fun. I love to get letters from my mother. She tells me so many things. It does sound fun. Well, I have to keep going. Have a nice day. Um... I feel like I need to be able to do something to the stage? Bribe the flea band. It can't be done. Threaten the flea band. No, um... I don't have anything... Here's your ticket, miss. I'm sorry, but I took it and I wanted to give it back. Oh, goodness, you're very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, I just got a trophy. I thought maybe you'd be like, oh, you're cute. Here's some honey. And then you put that on the stage. I was overthinking it. Um. Oh, there we go. I didn't know you could do it that fast. Fuck yeah. Crime, crime, crime. There we go. And this one? Nope. Is that as fast as it'll go? Okay. Seems like the same pace. Uh, would you like an autograph? No. Well, I don't think that did anything, or do I need to make it slow so he'll fuck up? I don't think this changed anything. Not sure what the logic is there, but I'll take it. I don't think it changed. Oh, fuck.
Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at him go! Alright, well, these are mine now. F in the chat. You'll never work in this town again. Ooh, they're nice. Okay. That was cool. I feel bad, but he was also kind of a dick. Maybe I freed him. You know? Since you refused to take off your shoes until you finally fell, maybe it was a curse. Take. Sir, sir, I have the shoes. They're very pretty, look. Wow, you did it! You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. Eh. Guessing in trial and error, but thank you. Thank you, sir. Now let's go do the last one so I can go home. What? Last one. Hey, um, I recognize this feather. It belongs to Palantras. Yes, I saw him badly injured. Okay, we're going to go help. Okay. Uh, he'll be fine. He has the pink water. That fixes everything. Yeah, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Hey, <laughs> Go visit the old Velocus me me mechanical doll. My wand will be there. I had to finish my rabbit science, so I think I have the answer. Oh, okay, sir. I'll bring your wand back. Mechanical doll. Damn, this really is dependent on me not having taken a three, four day break <laughs> in the middle of this level. The mechanical doll? Where the fuck is that? The only thing I can think of is the big thing behind the bar. This. That is it. Okay, cool. Whoa, what a huge Velocus. It's not real, though. I wonder what they use it for. It has four arms. Maybe the great Velocus has four arms? Whoa. Oh, can I not? But the wand. Or is it in the tree? Oh, this moves the arms of the Velocus. Okay. Oh, and that one has the wand. Please give. Please. Uh, damn it. That's the last quest. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. I need to position it in a way to where I can get it. Does it matter what season I'm in? Oh, maybe it does. Should I be able to climb on them? I'm not... Do the seasons matter? Actually, the arrow doesn't change. Okay. Let's try it here. 
don't think I noticed that the eyes glow in not winter. <laughs> Fuck. What? What do you want me to do? Oh, did it switch hands? Okay. So then, this one. Da na na na. Sweet. I thought, I thought that happened for a second, but I thought it happened because I was switching seasons. I'm so glad you got that because the written instructions for that were like left, right, up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> pee pee poo. <laughs> Okay. I thought I I thought I imagined it when it switched hands when I was like fumbling around and then I finally like noticed it. Oh, it all blends in way too well. All right. Oh, speed run, no death, no damage still on gamers. Let's fucking go home. Or to the human world to find a better home. I'm there's a part of me that's really scared that this is the only happiness Franbo will find and I'm about to force her to leave. It looks like a little like snowman's like corn cob pipe. Here you go. Now get me the fuck out of this nice place. Um, here's your wand, Sir Wizard. Oh, magnificent, splendid, you did it. Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. The stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the doors. But you, you are the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. It's like Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I see. The king said he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Mm, wait, I suspect that you can't return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human, yes? Mm, give me your clothing. I need to smell it. Uh, here, sir, my clothing. Mm, let me smell this. <laughs> This can work. We will make a human. Oh, this is so exciting. Good. Now, go to the center of the star of Etherista. Uh, okay. Think about your body, your head, your leg, and the other leg, your arm, both arm. Now concentrate. Definitely don't imagine yourself taller with wings and machine guns in your fingers. Randomly selected, randomly selected elements. Find the path to your true essence. Become Fran the Human now. Ah! Oh! Did it work? Ah! Are you all right? Uh, the fuck was that? What? What happened? Is it done? Oh, wow, thank you. So it worked. What the fuck was that? Was that my reward? Do I get to view these images in a trophy later? What the fuck? Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard because of the greatness. Hehe. <laughs> well, thank you again, sir. This is really grand. See you soon. Oh, that fucking... Instantly, my brain goes, I did something wrong. Blame self, blame self, blame self, existential dread. Oh, my darling Fran, you're a human again. Welcome back. Thank you, kitty. It feels great. Cool. Well, that wasn't fucking frightening. God damn. Sorry if that was loud. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Consider donating. You're becoming a member. If there's any members in the chat, spam the emojis. Those beautiful custom little billboys. And you get to help me pick games. It helps me pay for food. And pay off equipment. And isn't that the biggest reward of all? It will also help me pay for a Grimace Shake, which I'm still not able to get one. And I'm pissed. I genuinely want one. I don't want to do a stupid video where I like pretend to die. Grimace is having a birthday. Okay? We can acknowledge that. All right. Last thing I would want a is for people to forget my birthday, or b to associate it with death. I want a grimace shake. 
I like milkshakes. I like fun flavors. This is a big day for me, and the internet's bullying me. I don't even get to try one. Please send a Grimace shake to the P.O. box in the description and the about page. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised to stay by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did? Who promised to take good care of you? Wake up, Fran. You're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. No! Go away, go away with me. Dude, fuck this game. Now my tummy hurts and I really do want ice cream. I want a grim shake so bad, please. I don't ever want to see that again. Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh. Fran, what is wrong? Why are you creeing? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the Stone A's and you became human again. That is very good indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears away. And, get, and, and, and gain your favor in the event that you don't split me like a fucking beanie baby. Which even then, I can't even fathom doing that. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. And I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that. Because you love me. Yes, kitty. I Oh, hugs. I really didn't like that. I like the hug. I don't like everything that led up to it. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very, very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love A, you are a live, And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters inside you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home, A. Yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's do this. Fight the monsters inside me? I just want to see if I'm going to be back there. Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visable. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. All right. Here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her realita. Let the human return home, eh? Oh, wow. We're going home, kitty. Uh. Oh, Zia the king. Good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. I'll be It'll be strange to be so far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leve. I received a massage from one of the Volocas. And she isn't ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stone A's. You have no team A to lose A. But ready for what? You know what the Volokis told you about facing your truth? Uh, yes. I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. 
Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. I should have said that with a little bit more epicness. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. Uh, kitty? Psst, psst. We're not getting separated. Or maybe you should say. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, Mother said I can't play games with pagan stars in them. Right? That's what that is, right? The penta like the little pentagrammy looking star. Right? I smell vict victory! I almost gave him the wrong pronunciation of words. I smell victory again! You did it, Fran! You can go home now! I'm so excited. I wish I could leave something for you to remember me. We won't forgay you. You are very special creature. Oh, I almost forgo. Polantras gave me this for you. Oh, cool, the Da Vinci Code. Oh, thank you. Tell Polantras that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. Anyway. Was I not supposed to do that? Are there multiple endings to this? There, oh, there better not be. I'll, I'll tell him, and don't worry. Palantras is better now. Better now. He probably says that because you're not around. That came on my Spotify shuffle the other day. So. Timely reference. You're welcome. Pogers, I've got that. Riz. Besties. Cap. No bet. Shit. No cap bet. Uh-oh, before you go, you have to know. Before you return to your reality, you'll pass through the secret woods. The woods are kind of invisible a, a, a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. You know, this was the only nice part of the game, and it's fucking over now. But just run. They're quite slow. And you're telling me this now? Uh, that sounds very scary. Run. I point and click. Don't worry, you'll do fine. I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. Except for, you know, when I saw my death. I I like you very much. Goodbye. Yay, I like the little cool drawings. Oh, does she have, like... It, n is none of this real? Those look like, um... Like straight jacket straps. On the back of her dress. Whoa. Uh, oh my god, it's playable. Okay, shit, shit. Uh, poggers. Fuck, that's scary looking. Why did it, why do the hills have human faces? The hills have eyes, I get it. There we go. Fucking pro gamer. Fuck! No death run doesn't start until we get our first donation or new member, so it doesn't count. Y'all know the laws. Wee! I like how the art style did and didn't change here. Look at the little kitty. He's just up to all kinds of little mischief scampering around. We. Thing. I'm just, I, it doesn't seem like I'm using the analog stick, and I'm, I'm not really going any faster. So I guess, yeah, your pace is just dictated by not fucking up. Woo! First try, right, everybody? My imaginary friend. Can we get a first try in chat? Oh, there we go. I'm like, hello? My goodness, the door opened. Wow. Interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's find out where we are. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look. I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember? The one we tried to cross before we fell into Eth Etherista? Yes, I remember. Great. Let's keep going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. 
Are those my pills? Wow, but where are they going? Uh, I'm gonna get kidnapped. Or trapped. Pills, don't move. Ugh. You wanna show me the way back home? It was nice going a period of time without the pills and the scary things they bring. Yay. I love it. Oh no, I should have touched the pills. Bad friend. Bad, bad. What should I do now, kid? We're trapped forever and ever. As long as I have my knife. Oh, we're okay. I was like, oh, that's silly looking. Oh, fuck. Uh... Uh, friend, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. What? I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Uh... I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They only believed it was me. You see? That's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that the parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat? I always came by I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see? I'm I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? Hmm. <sighs> you look quite you look quite familiar, yet I, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Uh, take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made of darkness. I'm your friend. Mm, all right, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I don't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Whoa, he's a big boy. Oh, and he's got dancer shoes. Wait, come back. Is he a good boy? Whoa. Behold, the Itward flying machine. What do you think? Uh, I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower. Time stands still. I won't look back, but I'm gonna look around me. Time, stand still. Nice. Thank you. Rush rules. That gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we wanna go. Right now, we're standing at the endless limits of the second reality. But you're part of the third reality. Oh, someone's a fan. Oh my god, I'm a character in Fran Bow. Wow. That. Uh, <sighs> It's just nice to be acknowledged. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But, sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? What? Wait? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries, all right? All right. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Excuse me. Great! Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Oh. And the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the, the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Uh, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The ca 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 the kamlas. Oh, kamlas, I see. I hope they don't come near the flying machine. We never know, but we do know they don't like water, yes? Oh, Darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see? Here. Invisible to my eyes? I see. Well, thank you. 
I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I need to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. Because I'm a fucking pro gamer. Poggers. Anyway, I'll get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be repairing the machine. The last skeleton that tried to be my friend... It didn't end well. Uh, bye. Wow, I really fucking didn't like that. When we fell into the thirst, so there wasn't any water. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down? I can't reach the water. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe the magic door into Astera is underwater. Okay. It's go time. Whew. Okay, that's not so bad. Hello? Are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because they're, you're curious? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped, I helped, I helped them to get free of their curiosity. Oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead to unexpected situations. Yeah, I, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. Have to go now. Bye. <laughs> no, let's stay in a pleasant conversation with someone who isn't scary. Well, very scary. Cool. I fucking hate this. Ooh, fireberries. The berries are on fire. They must be fireberries. I can't reach them from here. Just my luck. I fucking hate it here. So much hair and shiny. Good luck sleeping tonight. Also, I guess that's me. Or is that the fake me? Did you find the fireberries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. Delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. <laughs> You'll know. Well, then how am I supposed to get up to the fireberries in the scary room or down to the water on the cliff? I guess home was in that direction. Yeah, I still can't reach him. This tree looks perfect to build a little tree house on. How lovely. Should we trust it, Word? I don't know, my dear. Let's pretend we do. So we won't think we're scared of him, alright? Alright, kitty. I can do that. Um, tree? 
wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little treehouse on. How lovely. Oh, fuck. What am I missing? Moonlight, it's very romantic. Can you help me get the fire berries? We're not stuck, now leave us alone. We're trying to grow our hair and make it beautiful. I wonder why Palantras gave me this. I can't open it. Damn. Um... A nudge, a hint, anybody? That'd be... I'm, I'm, I'm calling in the, the favor. Oh, ghoul, I can talk to the deer. Get out! You're trespassing on my territory. Uh, excuse me, I thought you were dead? How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me, rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Misunderstanding? Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly. I'm a day dead deadly worm. A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just return to the soil. What creatures took from it and don't need any more. But only. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Down here, creature. Can't you see me? My name is Fran. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're a little Grim Reaper worm. There you are, you're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask you, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you one of them? Of course not. I was just trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire breeze. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now, I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Cool. I can't take the fire berries, they're on fire. Oh, I could use the... If I can fill the bucket with water, I can then... Okay, well, how the fuck do I do that? It's gotta be a trick with the water. Yes, hello. I am a moose man. Uh... I need help, please. Would you let me tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket really tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. Say what? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. yeah. Rudy's got the chalk and I got the references. Yay! The bucket is now full of water. Ah, oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is a place where we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? But does home belong somewhere? Um, what? I'm sorry. I don't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are, you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. Oh, it sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Give me that shit. Yay. Now, climb. Climb again? It's me, sir. Can I climb the moose again? Go ahead. 
He's got two little sides for arms. Me. The fire is gone. I can take the berries now. They're firmly attached. Uh, knife. That doesn't look dangerous. Yay. Wait, no, I'm not trying to combine the crayon. I just want to make sure that there's... Okay, there's still water in it. All right. Down we go. Remember to wash your hands. Mm. The whispers are freaking me out. Ah, I forgot to undo that. Sir, Itward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You you mean the Luciferns? They're, very, they're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't gotten into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst thing... What's reasonable there may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. Heh. <laughs> My ex-wife? Thank you, thank you. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, fan. Sorry about the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, Fran, it's 234. The journey's about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Birdie. Wow, mechanical bird. This is grand. Okay, in we go. This is fine. Okay. I couldn't tell if that was just a fun musical cue or the beginning of a sting. It's 236. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Make sure you're liking and subscribing. <laughs> I love the third bill. That's why we called it that. Maybe I'd be more excited if I understood more about the realities? You'll soon understand. The answers aren't easy to recognize. That sounds strange to me, sir. Time proceeds as it has as it has to in order for you to be alive. It all if it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say through time you you must explore and experience. Through time, you must explore an experience to understand. That means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You've awoken my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. Make sure you're always watching the third bill. And you've got amazing content. That's my reality. But now, friend, we, we have to get things done. T talking talking won't get you home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pump working again. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. Hmm. Well, feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. But I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. Maybe I should push the button to open the door? Well, I didn't think it was that kind of button. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's the robot kitty. Has he been helping me this whole time? Um, blue hose, pink hose. I was hoping to touch something with instructions on it. Oh, I don't. Oh, it won't make me touch things. Um. Oh. AFM missing.
Is that what I'm looking for then? No. AFM. Uh. Whose face has no flowers, so I'll just leave it there. Look at this mess. Itward doesn't know how anything about it. Itward doesn't know about hygiene. Is it poop? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Kitty. Lovely bears and holding hands. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. Oh, this looks like a mathematical problem, but I won't try to solve that. I have other things to do. Oh, I thought the thing that we were missing would probably be in here. Whoa! Uh, are you, are you here to kill Itward? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Hello? Why won't you talk to me? Are you, are you here to kill Itward? Oh, okay. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I'm going to die. No, thank you. I forgot to give myself some love. Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. Oh, here's the solution to the problem I was having. Fuck, that was scary. You want me to what? What the fuck? I, I wasn't expecting the twins to come back. Is he a bad man? Because now he's a clown. Um... N one six six. Right, I'm assuming that diagram is. Please don't make me just go back and forth. R fifteen hops over to A eighteen. I thought those were supposed to connect. Oh, so one of the, the AFM is missing still. Are those for drinking water? They're quite small. R15, 2PF, A18.
Yeah, what is this then? Yeah, that goes to the bottom, right? So then where's the thing I'm missing? be turned on in order to work. <laughs> I don't want to do learning. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That's a huge spin in top. I'm guessing this may be the engine. Yeah, son of a bitch. Oh, use a match on the th on that thing. Okay. This is one of those, this would be easy to do in real life kind of deals. There we go. It's burning quite a lot. That's good. Did I do it right? I'm worried I didn't do this right. So there's like another beaker and extra tubes. I must be missing something. I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. do here. The music's nice though. I like how kind of lulling it is. Tape? Oh, cool. Well, now I have tape. A hammer. Obviously the hammer stuff. things this machine counts oh this looks like a mathematical problem I must stay focused ladder this ladder leads to a door but it's closed this door is closed maybe itward can open it later this flying machine is incredible it can fly I remember when the cat used to give me little hints <laughs> Those were the days. Has chat said anything? Ooh, there's this thing. I can fix it. I should give myself a hug for being so clever. Yeah, 
Yeah, now I need to configure it so it works. Oh. Open the tank. Oh, there we go. Put the water in the tank. I think this was on the drawing. <sighs> yeah, the lever needs to go to the right, the spigot needs to be down, and the tube needs to connect, and then you gotta turn the thing. I feel like I did all that. <sighs> this, is, uh, this is what I don't like, is I don't like having to like exit, check the picture, and then remember it all again. That'd be lovely. Okay, it's down. Left lever right. Right. Ground valve horizontal. Uh-huh. Now light the gas with a match. Now light the gas with a match. On the chem table? Oh, is that is there a spot to light it there? There we go. That just didn't look like a thing to me. I'm I'm not familiar. <laughs> I didn't realize that was all pictures for one thing. I thought the match was instructions for the table. Yeah, now you have to the four hoses to be set up. Hoses. Yeah, like what? I know what. Yeah, but like, where do you zoom in to do that? I guess it's the chem table. Uh. Connect the four. What? Where? I have a pink hose. But yeah, connecting the four hoses doesn't tell me anything, I don't think. I guess there's already four hoses on the thing, but I have this pink hose. What's the next thing to do? You stopped. I've been trying to click everywhere with this fucking hose. I don't have this. What what hose? I'm so confused. Right, left, blue or yeah, right, left, blue, right. I can at least do that. But I am I just missing one? Where's the other beaker? <sighs> it's just, it's, the style of game A already kind of, I'm just not used to it, but like it, it really doesn't beget this kind of thing. Like I'm just zooming, unzooming, zooming, unzooming. I don't 
don't see anything in here. Pills? Either something's wrong with my butt, or I need to figure out, like, what's wrong with this chair, or what I'm doing wrong. I don't know how people sit for this long when they stream. What? That doesn't... Foreground of which... Which room? Okay, thank you. Is there something I'm not doing? Do I still need another beaker or was that all I was missing? Diagram looks like there's an extra. It's just, it doesn't. That or just doesn't line up. Like that? It just kind of let me do that. place the the tubes in wrong I kind of hate having to do that because then it makes this the the scary parts a lot like less scary. They just they're kind of just in the way. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All the hoses are in place. Do I put anything in those two bottom boys or do I just let it Hold on. The fireberries have to go into. Yeah. Which one do the fireberries go into? Because also, you reading it off won't help because it doesn't tell you. There's not... Okay, I put it in the top left, and now something's happening? Uh, yeah. Okay, I think it's done. Super Chemistry Master Fran Bo. There you go. Yay! What the fuck? Thank you, I'd be running around in fucking circles. Uh, Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed quite well, too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm 
I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I just can't imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. Still, it's still, it's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring at me all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me. Otherwise, I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. On all the social medias. Like and subscribe. Consider donating or becoming a member. Spam those custom emojis. Oh, fucking went into the room. At least it does you that kindness. Oh, hey, look at that. He did, in fact, open that door later. Oh, he's scared. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? Oh, in the corner. This is a toy. From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just... So cute. I see, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fred. There's nothing to be afraid of. Motherfucker. What? Don't go, Mr. Midnight. This is not funny. Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry or both. Sweet. I'm about to fucking kick... Oh, it, it's wearing a tutu now. Carrot for the big robot rabbit. Carrot for the fake one? I'm assuming that's the thing I'll use to fucking... Get my boy back. What the fuck? Oh. Thanks. I uh, that opened the door. What do you... Oh, a battery? Battery. It can't be done. <laughs> what the fuck? So the skeleton man is a bad man? Are you Itward's other hat? Uh, head? I like the hat. Nine carrots? Or is that just the word? Or the number and then the word? Eight. Green leaves. What the fuck? Whoa. A mechanical arm, are you alive? It's too high up, I can't reach it. Uh. So I need a tool. Oh, ew, the numbers change. One, two, three, four somewhere, probably. Nuts and bolts, I never know which is which. So do I need a tool? It won't turn off, what should I do? I kinda need to get my cat back really badly. One. Do the, those flashcard things do anything? I'm so overwhelmed.
I supposed to? Oh, I touched my eye and I should have done that. My fucking allergies. Oh, fuck. Now my eye's like, yes. <laughs> Don't you remember the good old days, Bill? You just rub the shit out of your eyes and they'd swell shut. You wouldn't have to go to school the next day. Mr. Midnight, say something. Please don't take my kitty away from me again. Oh, what am I supposed to do? It's weird that all the numbers change. I don't see anything like a point of interest. Maybe I'll be able to move, like slide this down. Oh, I'm stupid? Boop, just got it. <laughs> oh, come on. Firmly grasp it. Positive, positive, minus, negative. There we go. Now when I stand on this. Yes! Off to the Taylor Swift concert I go. Fuck. That was my... That can't really be my parents. I'm in the fake reality. Are you? Oh! Huh. Great. Oh, fuck me. The numbers downstairs are the code. Please, I, I figured out the concept. I don't want to keep running back and forth and back and forth. Uh, so right eight. That's fair, right? Yeah. So right eight. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right five. Just do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Left eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, then what about all the other numbers? Oh, was there a part of that puzzle I probably should have figured out first? There was like nine cards. I thought it just, the arrows just told you what to do. You said right eight. Did I skip something? Alright, well. Speed run poggers. If you did, it wasn't important. Yeah, no no death, no damage run. <laughs> speed run still on until we get donations or new members. So. 
I straight up just thought like the solution was written on the cards. I'm like, I just don't want to go up and down the stairs. Uh, maybe I should push the button to open the door. It's quite dark. Whoa! Okay. I just watched my parents die because of you. And that genuinely, like, made me jump. Surprise, friend. Happy birthday. Oh, a birthday party. Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry. I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. You were in on this, too? All right. Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Whitward, sir. The cake is made of all your favorite ingredients. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. Hope you find it educational. Wow. I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yeah, go ahead. Open it. Uh, oh, thank God. I thought it was like a cat cat. Wow, a cat doll. Cat doll. Cat doll. Alone in the world with a little cat doll. Uh, wow, a cat doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, it, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Yes. Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at these exact coordinates of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I, I feel a bit dizzy. Uh -huh, that may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles, dear. Now you're ready to reach our destination. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, Kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. All right, here I go. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. I couldn't see the corner of my screen. Oh, dear, what's happened? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamlas. There's one There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water that cleans away the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamla. I really I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. I'm trying not to, like, read it like Kamala, like Kamala Harris. Like, it just... Well. So are the twins okay in another reality? Oh, see, I thought maybe it would be in the new room. Fuck, that's fucking terrifying. Uh oh. Oh, the compass goes in circles upside down. Okay. I thought that was the thing I had to spray with water. 
Is this empty? Oh, it is empty. Fuck. So I need to find water. Water symbol, I guess, is connected to something. Is this to make music with the wind? Oh, fuck. What does the water upstairs do? Oh, there's a picture of the dude over there. The, not the wizard, the king. That's the lights. That's the door. That is also the door. Oh, there we go. that not work? Main on me, tsunami. Uh... No, don't walk over. I'm trying to fill up the bucket. So fucking confused. Oh. Oh, that's not the key to the thing? on what I'm supposed to be doing. Please, sir, I need your help. Can't help you now, Fran. I have to concentrate on driving the machine. But, sir, I can't find the Kamla. That's because it's hiding. Go into the ultra reality. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. Is this it? Is this it or is this a time sink? Okay. Well, I died. Oops, you crashed the game. I knew all about that trophy as a pro gamer. It's, it's hiding, go into the ultra reality, but I don't have any water. Oh, the thing's gone. Uh, water? Oh, did I leave the reality when I left the... It was the glowing red light threw me off. Okay, hi. Nope, you're still here. There you are, you bad thing. You're destroying our ship. Edward said you're dirty and I have to clean you up with water. Uh, but where to get water? Uh, yeah. Okay, I figured that was it. Well, yeah, all my ideas are the right idea. Obviously. Don't sound so stunned. Don't sound so... Stunned? Yeah, what the fuck? Fuck it. Do I just need to, like, get it at an angle to where I'm close enough to fill it with water? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, just put it on. The then why is it even pissing out onto the map to begin with? It's fucking confusing. Ah. Ha ha! Eat that! Oh, you got like a vaginal mouth throat. Okay, bye. Ah, don't run away. Where are you going? Guys, I'll fight it on the roof. Get scuttled upwards. This music makes you think of forks. Aha! Eat shit! Aha! Eat shit again! Eat shit a third time. Thank you. So long, gay Bowser. I think I finally got rid of the Kamla. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Boop. Itward, sir, we did it. The Kamla's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair, not fair. I would also like a hug. I will always take care of you, my dear. Oh, but you're, you, you tricked me. It's 
and the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. What the fuck? Did I do it too slow? The end. That's a very sad ending. It. We're tell. What the fuck? Tell me another story, please. Did we leave it into a different realm of reality? All right. This is the story of Fran Bow and me. When she promised never to forget me, or about the magic of everything. Yeah, I promise, Edward. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. If this is all a bedtime story, I'm gonna fucking... Don't worry back. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Look at the kitty, though! Meow. I like that story. Chapter 4, Part 2. Boo, you're cheating. Back off or I'll fucking kill your mom. Alright, bye. Because it's a deer. Bambi. Oh. Itward? Ah, oh, kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes. We're alive. But Itward is gone. But he brought us home. We're just outside of town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you'd be happier about this. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. See? The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come see me someday. I don't like that we're out of the pills. Is that Edward's bicycle or mine? Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Something bad's gonna happen. And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Uh, she's dead. And Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to get inside? No, I don't have it, kitty, but I know there's a key hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Let's find it. Bugs? Bugs? <laughs> I took the key, Fran. That's me! But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. What? Come here, kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. We were framed as the murderer. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. Uh, all right then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Me, me. Look at the boy. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Whoa. Fran, I can't believe it. You're alive. Where were you? Oh, it's our doctor. Dr. Dearn? I'm fine. Please, don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? Uh, I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Mm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed through the second floor window, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. 
You must come with me now. Ew. Pretty sure it's... I mean, I forgot this is also a period piece. I'm like, that's, that's not protocol. It probably was in the 40s, 50s. Whoa. Oh, I don't like this. Do I have to interact with stuff? Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? That This feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I don't I, I found things that I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer Marco Holma said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there are no signs of a struggle in the house. So the victims... The victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Jesus. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Twin sister. That's an interesting detail to throw at me after finding the ghost of twins. Was that the hell reality scape version of my aunt and mom? I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ecto ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. If your doctor can't even pronounce it, it's probably not good. Not a good sign. Apologies. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the conscious and subconscious mind. The problem is, if the ect Diplomatin is too high, the door will open too wide. <clears throat> and that can create great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and, and feel. Ugh. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel to other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be an effect of the duotine, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's on your head, friend. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things. That's all! Fuck. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father hurt you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my, oh my goodness, then it's true? Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents, and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I had stayed in Ethersta with Polantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Polantris, and my kitty is all alone. Polantris, Itward, please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of Thersta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. 
I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What, what, what twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum who claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? Thank you, misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Polantris was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. We're getting grimace shakes. Holy shit. So the dude who runs the asylum was doing experiments on the twins, and we connected somehow through the pills we're able to see people's traumas and we saw what's left of the twins wanting to be separated again and we also saw their bodies in the well right because we just confirmed whatever we just heard him say and the specter behind him that was real or that happened to him previously Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on. Follow me. Oh, great. And now we're going to be fucking murdered. Wow. Hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? I've got the zoomies. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Why bring me here? Convenient. Why'd you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran. But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Ugh. <sighs> Use the law to punish such behavior and pre prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And with what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already? Oh, um, anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, all right? Yes, Dr. Dearn, I'll see you soon. Well, I don't trust him. What happened to where he's suddenly like, hey, I'm cool now? Was he just, he was just scared by the fact that, like, I just suddenly died and he's like, something's wrong in the asylum? It's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. There must be a way to open it. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. Ooh, that'd be trippy. Nope. Really love that we walked all the way over there. Just to be told it won't work. Yeah. Well, that's fucked. has hidden between her hands. Oh, because she's praying? It's a thought. They hold thoughts between their hands when they pray. That's where we get the saying. Something in the car that'll help me? Ooh, crowbar! Uh, uh, <laughs> can you pull it out of park? Sideways. 
Same thing. Can't be good to press all the buttons. Gearbox. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. That makes me wonder if there's secrets inside. Fuck. I think he's here to fucking kill me and just drop me in my already marked grave. Because he was like, he thought I was dead. He was on his way to talk to my aunt. Hey, buddy. Shush. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Hmm. Fuck this place. Fuck this country. Fuck your birthday. Someone setting off their fireworks early, which is stupid. Anyway. Sorry. Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I could see you because I have very big eyes. See? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. Collector, hardly. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Leather? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Mm. Yes, please do not judge. Last year, we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more... synthetic. Well, I hope you find that leather. Uh, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, or we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door, all right, giant miss? Where will I ever find that? Uh, all right, I'll see what I can do. Back to the car. Unless that teddy bear's made of leather, which I don't think that's the case. Okay. Well, I have the leather now. Okay, I, that was really confusing. Okay, sweet. Nailed it. I thought so. Gotta use the arrow to our advantage. The rare times we can. Don't have to wear your seatbelt when you're a kid in the 40s. But you also don't get cell phones, and you should still wear a seatbelt. Oh, yes. Wow, thank you, Giant Riss. Our tribe, the Pinezalus, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a sec. Hey, hey, gang. Orgy's back on. I have a scrap of leather. Are you all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm all right, miss, yes. Good. Well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, Giant Miss. Uh, Fabio. Ooh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Hee hee hee. I'm gonna spread them cheeks and go to town on that cone. There's nothing in here I can use. This isn't wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. I can't dig with a broom. There's nothing in here I can use. Oh, we're still. Really? Okay. Is it chicanery? Yep. There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Dig a tunnel. Dig, dig a tunnel. Quick, before the hyena come. I'm clever enough to... What? Dig. Bubba.
That's really fucking annoying. It's the official show. No, it's not. Yeah, there's, there's, we're already going off at the same time. Why? <laughs> I Who's excited? I get... <sighs> mm. Mm. Like and subscribe, donate, become a member. Not running my mouth for free. <laughs> Well, now we'll have to find something to open the coffins. I stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you do the honors. Honors. Of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. Okay, here's where this is it's getting annoying. Thank you. Papa? Mama. Nothing. Oh my god. Well. Didn't fucking see that coming. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is at home. Mother, you're so skinny. A bit too skinny, I would say. Oh my goodness, father. The deadly worms took your eyes. Do you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like that. Also, that dead cat isn't my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you. Your cat was missing. Maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. GG. Pogers. Let's go, gamers. Gamers, let's go. Fuck. That's so unsettling. So... So he just had us do that just kind of... Cuz! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you... The light, the one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Fuck. Hello? You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. Oh, shit. If you want to find those you love, in darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Sounds like a arcade shoot 'em up zombie game, like House of the Dead. Whoa! Ah! Dude, what the fuck? Is this fucking real? Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? What did he do? Your cat. Okay, ladies, you totally killed them. Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend and a fucking cat. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility. Isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? I, too, have that question. Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran. Don't you worry about the lies. 
The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. All right, well, something's wrong with Auntie Fuckface. What happened to my door? Oh, no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft, and he's a fucking cat. I hope he's okay, but what should I do now? Tick-tock, tick-tock, crazy sound never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaster said that that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time? Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. I love this comic. My slippers. Oh my god. Well, shit. Oh, can I? Oh. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I don't want to lay on this bed ever again. Yeah, no shit. This is a traumatizing event. Are there any monsters in the closet? I guess not. Fuck. Use crayon on... Window? What do you want me to do? Fireworks are not helping me concentrate. find something? Yeah. What's up? So click on frame in the bed to enter alternate reality. Click on Fran in the bed? Yeah. She's just saying how she doesn't want to do this anymore. Oh. It says there's a little Fran open the closet and take out a box of keys. There is no little Fran. <laughs> Click on Fran. I painted this. Ah! Okay, well, and the wind took all the magical dust away. I clicked on the painting. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. No, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. Yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're my self. You really are. Think so? And this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. <clears throat> Did you meet Itward already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears. Break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? God, I hope not. No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. Then, wait, they? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit me once and told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? 
what? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend? I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chain. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. The door is closed. Keys. Oh, cool. So since I'm a different Fran, I get a different inventory. <laughs> it looks like she's flipping everyone off. Well, this Fran doesn't seem to be going through too much shit unless this is still the asylum room. But she's playing dress up, so I don't think so. I think it's layered. It won't fit. Okay. There we go. Aha, unlocked. The little one just looked fun. Thank you so much, Fran. He he you really have a lot of keys in there. Yeah, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, I am a worm before I am a man. Palantras told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it'll help you open something. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take them seriously once. Okay. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Palantris, you know him too? Wow, thank you. He also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no, I I can't. I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. Okay, so she's still in the asylum. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the only one. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. It's by the ears. No. Nope. Okay. First I thought it was how to open the cipher box. Then I thought it was how to open the door on the cat. This was like, press the ears and the eye. And I'm like, oh, okay. Fuck me, I guess. Uh... <laughs> like Alice in Wonderland, Alice? Or are you trying to tell me that I also have a sister that someone tried to combine me with? My summer hat. Okay. I don't remember having the door removed. Whoa. Well, nailed it. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yeah, sorry, Miss Somebody. Have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamla. Are you all right? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamla once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. Me. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Nasty creatures. Poor tree. He must really be sad. Pine cone. Uh. There's an outline of a key? 
something back there. I can feel the texture. What could it be? Oh, uh, knife. No, knife. Yay! A key. I bet it unlocks something. Oh, yes. That's what heroes do. Oh, I like the little clothespin that was made into a little piano. That's super clever and cute. I would just whittle down a piano into the size of a tiny piano. Okay. Nope. I don't think there's anything useful in here. Oh, my school case. I may need it. Okay, well, fuck me. Um. Huh. Kitty. Well, fuck. Yes. A lovely peach dress for sunny days. Thank you, because I was giving up on that fucking... The fireworks are really not helping me concentrate right now. Because it's, um, you know, a constant series of explosions. As well as a reminder that um, there might be some reckless people around. But you said it might be the community fireworks or something? Yeah. Well, because, like, I don't trust some random fuckface ever, but especially not with, like, fireworks and yeah. shit. Especially someone <laughs> making the choice to, uh, to partake in festivities. Of, like, that's... Someone who's gonna spend that amount of money on that many boom-boom sounds, like, I don't trust you. <laughs> what do I do now that I have the button? <laughs> From the closet? I think so. Oh, they're there. And then from the dollhouse, uh, take the piano. Oh. For keeps? For keeps. And then you can put the tiny one in the pocket watch to the right. Is it to get the key? Because I've already done that. Was there anything else to grab? All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I press it by the ears? Meaning the kitty, right? No. Fuck else do I have that has ears? Oh. Once to the left, twice to the right. And the eye? Wow, I really hate having to, like, close my inventory, open the thing. I, I just wish you could, like, read like just read it to me. Like, now I figured it out. Like, Jesus. Okay. Press it first twice to the left, once to the right. Yep. Rub its only eye two times. Okay. Two, two left, one right, and then the eye. Yep. Beep, 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 beep. Now what? Nothing happened. Okay, I'm just gonna left, left, right, I, I, left, yep. I. Yep. So, 
left, left, right, I, I, left, I. There we go. Maybe I missed it, you know, like on the I, uh, one of the clicks or something, yeah. Before I picked it up, it looked like a like a pro like a leaflet for like a children's like recital. Like, will you go to my daughter's thing for me and film it? Like, my ex-wife's making me feel like an asshole for not <laughs> for not going right because it was the king that handed it to you. Um, kitty key. Cool. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The Velakas is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give the light. Oh, so I need these to make a clock? A working bulb, a wake up clock, a bottle with water, a soap bar, one glove, black wire. Sounds like I should be getting access to a bathroom then. God, that's so distracting and frustrating. Um, do I stay in this room? Ah. Well, that's that's the answer. That's the end. I walk outside and I talk to some aliens. Um, what does the key do? Oh, does the key... I'm silly. Combine key key for the key cat. Or not. The key key for the key cat. There we go. Oh my god, it's Kingdom Hearts. Okay, well, shit, that was pretty handy. Thanks, kitty. What the fuck? Oh, someone's staring at me. Tea on the wall. It's Alice in Wonderland now. Is that why that joke was, or that reference was made earlier? Door 105. It's locked, of course. Hello? Is anybody living here? Ew, it's all bloody. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Well, I can go out of the room now, but that didn't change much. I have that key. Oh, there we go. Keys, doors, it made sense. Intruder, infiltrator, why why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okla, the eye from beyond. Behold, my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal, a queen, a princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage en entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Its fur is very dark black. It's the deepest night. Oh, that's him. That's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka's asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave. I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akla. I'm I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. This mirror is transparent. Looks more like a window. Uh, it wasn't even something that I needed. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. Huh. Well, I 
need that bar of soap. And the water, I guess, too. Insert button. Ooh, okay. That's not a key, though. Is it? Okay. Can I go down here to the scary person in the tub? I thought maybe something would happen if I unplugged it, but I guess, yeah, black wire. Okay. How do I get over there? I don't think I'm capable of going over there currently. Well, enjoy the rest of your bath. A golden snail. So use the pliers. Oh, but it, on what though? Use. Oh. You just said yes. It it said key one o three, but then using the pliers did nothing. Oh, okay. The box was like, ooh, ooh, a key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. Sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It'd be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. I'll see what I can do to get the key, then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? Uh, what's Mabuka with you? You don't know who Mabuka is? You know, leave now. Just leave. Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness. The obscurity. The end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Hmm. <laughs> Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remor was king here. Ah, Remor the Terrible Black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now, I've said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Use the pliers on the key skull. Yeah. Oh, don't show it. Fucking tell, don't show. That's how that rush song goes. Inside the little house. I think I already got that. Okay. Jenny, I've got your number. Okay. Nothing broke my spirit more as a kid. Then, like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll call 8675309, and obviously it changes based on what, like, your air, like area code you use and stuff. And the I called it, and it went to a voicemail where this guy was, like, drunk and singing the song. And it was like, 8675309, if you're a chick with huge tits, leave your number. Beep. And I was like, oh, maybe music isn't real. <laughs> It's very disappointing. <laughs> Ooh, kitty. Big ass kitty. A wake up clock. Perfect. Uh, it's tightly tied. If I want it, I'll have to do something about it. Uh, I got the thing. 
Wow, what a big cat. Oh, it's got a thing on its back. Oh, I can just open it. The back of the giant cat. This must be for something important. It's quite dark in there. Okay. Pull the lever crunk. Whoa. Hardly. Bye. Whoa. Hi. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me. I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. You stuck to this tree? I'm finally attached to it. I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Um, do I have the thing to rescue the key? Oh, the brush. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What's that? Well... It's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. All right, just promise you won't burn me. I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you for releasing me. It worked. Yay. What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer, and all Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Uh. Well, I made him go away, but now I can't get the key? A stick? No. Where's the stick? Pray tell. Don't talk to strangers. Don't talk. Nobody ever told you. This is the room I've been trapped in. I didn't find the stick. Where's the stick? Oh, there's another... Oh, is it the guy in the bath? Yeah. We're gonna turn on the tap and fill up uh, your water. Cool. I turn on the water. Bottle on faucet. Uh, use balloons on faucet. And we're gonna use this to save the tree outside. Ah, the powerful water balloon. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I just want the soap. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap. Are you having trouble with your hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. All right, then take it. It's all yours. Gross. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. 
Is that all I had to fill up was the bottle and the water balloons? Uh, so there's the bottle and, yes. And you get the soap? I got the soap. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I throw water balloons at the tree? Cool, cool. Yeah, I super didn't see the little eyeball telling me there's another room in there. So, thank you. Uh, we're going to use 99. Okay. Oh, goodness, I missed. Am I just using it until I run out? I did it. First try. Wow, I feel the sad. I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Happy, feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A stick. It's the body of my son. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. See ya. Please go. I... I, I, please. <laughs> I'm finally alone with my thoughts for the first time in decades. So that was, now I'm going to go back to 102. Yeah, yeah. I always had the stick. I just didn't want you to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. It's a gamer thing. Name three video games. Ooh, okay, we got the key. Get me back down on ground. So, what do I do with the cat's big ass? Uh, you'll find out. Later. <laughs> big ass holds big things. I got some junk for that trunk. Just unload all your inventory in the cat. Thanks, buddy. Cool, I fucking hate it. Ugh. Creature from above. Uh, creature from above. Get out of Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. I thought it said, what up, Mabuka? Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka to you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas? With the... Ugh. With the crazy ideas of Cogwind. Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I just assume you've been into... I assume you've been into Etherista. Horrid place, I say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Hello, I'm an evil deer. Hello, goat. You look a bit, you look a bit like Remor. Ah, uh, hello, little boar. Huh? You don't scare me a bit. A working bulb. That's the only thing I'm missing to wake her up. What a big, beautiful face. Are you Mabuka? If yes, I must wake you up. Cogwin came up with a machine to wake you up, so be prepared. I'm missing the light bulb. No, the, can I touch the lamp? No. Okay. Oh, that was Mabuka, my bad. Oh, just take one of his little LED bulb, like little lights. I don't want to touch it again. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Yay.
I just combine everything, or? Yeah. Same. Or is, do I put it on the case? Put it all on the cat. I put it all on the cat? That's oh my god, I was, I'm a freaking <laughs> genius. I ne- this game's so bizarre. I never would have thought, like, oh, go to the cat's, the robot cat's ass and just fill it with stuff. Yeah, it's the hats on the back of the cat. Just put it all in there? That's very strange. It's mouth opened. Bah. Thanks. You look exactly like Mr. Midnight. Yay. I did the thing. Wake up. Whoa. I'd watch that Ghibli movie. Ah! Beware of Mabuka! The awakened darkness rises from the unknown! Oh, I'm sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. It's like Knight in King Arthur's court. <laughs> It's just screenplay I'm working on. We're, this is the 40s. Sign this NDA. <laughs> Who, <laughs> sign this NDA. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you speak. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? Power inside you, don't you know? Pokemon, you were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of ex of essential existence were created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you that? The great Philocus from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. So what about you? Did something obscure happen to you? I think Reamer killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am everything sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed. From tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Reamer killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I'm curious to know the reason if that makes you feel better. Now, I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Kingdom Hearts. Whoa. Thank you. Fuck. What is happening? Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where's my knitting needle? Knitting needle, eh? You stab at all, all, all your little friends with it? What? A knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, eh? You little beast. Take a number, would you? Wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just need to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. I don't know why you got, like, <laughs> bad at the end. It's locked, but it doesn't have keyhole. Uh. <sighs> oh, so now we're in the reality where all the, the ghosts are real? I wonder how long I've, I've had to wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Hey, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. 
but I have number two, so it may be my turn very soon. I'm waiting for three and a half weeks, totally helpless. Ahem, excuse me, everyone. Is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That'd be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why don't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't use my R. I, my R eye has been blinded? Oh, red. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? Hmm. I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. How can you not know? Do you feel pain anywhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Uh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course, you can't make sense of us. You're not the one who sees. You're not the one who sees it all. You're only. You've only known us for a few minutes. It's very little time to understand. That's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to to better understand each other. We understand each other very well with our uncommon sense, anyway. Yeah, we actually do. We do respect the differences. But who is the one that sees it all, then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting... Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. All right, thanks for nothing. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, I entered this place backwards. They're waiting their turn up here? That creature's body is made of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. I hardly. Oh, the creature's body. Oh, okay. So I have to cut everyone in line? I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Waiting was fun at the beginning. Now it's just boring. Wait. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. What? Okay. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you give me your ticket then? Sure. If I'm still here when you get when you come back. Okay. Probably just depression. Okay. Well, now what? It's not your turn yet. Do I have to leave and find his illness, or do I find it out down here somehow? That's really disappointing. 
Like I, I, I'm the kind of person who feels like when you have a big moment, like talking to Mother Mabuka, you then shouldn't backtrack back through the room. But okay, whatever. So I'm back here. I'm in room 104. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you, of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Mm, let me see. I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by a low levels of agony. Wow. Is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm, a, I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my Kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to their stub and be happy. Mm, lovely pain. So profound. Oh, shit. I got a little confused. I thought he needed to cry to feel better, not drown him in tears and he'll feel better. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. That's, um... Go now. Time doesn't wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. It's, um... We discussed putting that up in my merch shop, and then um, suddenly it's inhumane. I'm glad she got it out. I just. Hmm. Flask of Tears. Drink this, you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely, let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more, more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right, here you go. Ha, <laughs> deuces. Thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Oh, now serving number two. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. Sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. Lost kitty? Don't worry. It's a natural reaction to sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Uh, lucky? How do I get an appointment, then? Uh, just call me. Here's my car with a telephone number. Oh, my God. Are you insane? Call us. Why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? I'd be silly. Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright, alright. I'll go make the call. Oh, which one was it? Was it five? Yeah. Okay. Is it going to make me remember the phone number? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thank you. Like, do this more in this game. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Uh, Fran Bo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. See you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. Still easier than our healthcare system. I can't imagine there's a lot left to do in this game, no, right? Not much at all. Yay! Because um, I want to go hide behind the toilet like my dogs used to do when I was a kid. I don't like the explosions. 
Plus, I also really want to know where this is going. I did not have the ant chains me up in my house and my cat might not be real. On my, on my, on my bingo card. Yeah, well, we found, like, the last two sets of bingo we can get. That's cool. Um, hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there they are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Thank you. Oh! I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Ooh. Yeah. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Uh, now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. That was funny. Fuck you looking at. Oh! I didn't know you... I don't believe that man has ever been to medical school. <laughs> you haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remor, aren't you? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. It scares Bill, and no one really wants that, now do we? I am Remor, the terrible black Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I immensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed upon it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing? I saw you that, that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? We've been running at 60 frames per second this whole time and no one's even noticed. Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Ah! Please don't stand so close to me. Whoa! No, I didn't. No, it can't be. Stop it. No. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. No? Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. There's no fucking way. What? I didn't kill my parents. I didn't. The monster wants to trick me. I know it. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. What the fuck? Oh, kitty. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Oh, please. It's Kiki Delivery Service all over again. Lily's her name. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Brr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Atherista, my darling. Polantris can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dearn, all right? He seems to be in trouble. You know, electric chair. Oh, cool. You can just pick that shit up. I just wanted to click on it. A syringe. There's red fluid inside. What can it be? I don't need this. Dr. Dearn, are you all right? Sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive? Sir. Ugh, what should I do to wake him up? Maybe this will wake him up. It's the only other thing in the room. I probably killed him. Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn, it's me, Fran. 
Ah, uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bow, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. All right, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Um... But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Oh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, what are you- Why are you talking like this? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about your friend. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend, the same old man. Eh, rammed. Oh, why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Twinblings, I called them. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Uh, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remo did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I didn't under what I don't understand is how you could be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time. But why is he hunting me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Why are you looking at me when you say that, Frambo? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. No. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on. Let's go. To the dungeon? Ah, oh, she's gonna kill the cat. Jesus Christ. Please don't kill the kitty. Go with your head, friend. Isn't that what you want? Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Alright, well, he's dead. What the fuck? So... It was Fran who killed her parents, but, like, a vessel from the... From... Remor? Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. There's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Fuck! What? No, no, kitty! Dude, what the fuck? Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. That felt... There's no way. Like, that felt, like, too sudden and fast. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my... You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Whoa. Uh. Stop it. Friend. Help. Please. Help. Whoa. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Whoa. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away? Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? 
She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Deer, and she was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Okay, cool. I'm like, no, like... Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who... Who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But you're not human. Ecto bro, ecto prote, pala. Okay. Itward, Gorska, Itward, I found him. Oh my goodness! Stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Yay! I was gonna say like this. There's no way this game started with like the most intense fucking visuals and shit, and then like what the cat gets dropped off screen. You played- I, you, I still feel like you played your hand too strong at the beginning. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Mother Mabuka, you took the child's innocence. Fran is now dead and alive. Wanted. Wanted. <laughs> Wake up in darkness, Fran. And you'll be able to walk towards light. Yay. Right? Okay, I was like, do I have to do something? What happened? Edward? Palantras? My head hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Uh, all right. Dr. Dearn, look, this is Itward and Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Do you believe me now? Uh, he can't hear you. I think he's under the power of M Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But he can come with us, please. He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Thank you, Palantras. Now let's send Dr. Deeren home. Marcel Dearn. Oh, I guess his name is Marcel. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Is it even real? Am I gonna know? Oh, there he goes. Nope, the end. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know, that between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. It's the never-ending story. So... Wow, that is literally it. Wow. Oh, fuck. Oh, my body hurts. Okay. I feel like... God, a lot just kind of happened. It's a lot to process. Ooh, sorry. Hope that wasn't too loud. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that ending. Like, I definitely would... I need to take some time to, like, 
kind of process it and stuff. Like I said, it kind of going as hard as they have throughout the whole game and the the visuals and the 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 gore and the imagery and stuff. Just dropping the cat, I'm like, there's no way. Like that feels kind of anticlimactic and lazy if that was real. Um. And bringing in the realities and stuff too, like that's that's a whole plethora of thought that I'm not very familiar with. So I don't know. I'm still kind of still kind of trying to process it. I. I don't know if I can really say that, like, the intensity, especially at the beginning, like, makes sense. Looking back, like, that was a big thing I talked about in the last stream is I'm like, I want to feel like this is all going somewhere. I, I liked when we started to, I liked that we at least saw, like, when it came back with Dr. Dearn. I don't even know if I said it right. Oh, you're welcome. Um, like, we saw his traumas in the car. And I'm like, okay, so, like, the things we saw were, like, real. Because for a minute I was wondering if it was, like, reading everyone's clipboards and stuff kind of put Fran in that way. Or, like, everyone's information being so out and about in a hospital setting like that. Like, it just puts you on display in a sense. That ending, it just kind of... Is that... Is there more than one ending to this? Okay. I don't know. I don't hate it. I just... I feel like there's just a, a lot of build-up and kind of I'm not the biggest fan of like leaving me to decide if it's real or not I took it to mean it was real like all the, the supernatural the magic elements and stuff I don't know. It definitely, like I said, it's definitely going to take some time to like kind of process it. It feels just like the, the end of the first stream where I'm like, how does this, how did this like four hour stream end with me made of wood talking to tree people? And then now I'm like, how did this start with me talking to a wizard about turning me from wood into a real girl and then end with me flying off into the afterlife reality or what have you. I don't know. I, I started to get more interested in the real world stuff to the point where I kind of wanted the fiction to not be real. Cause I feel like if you're going to touch on, you know, trauma, mental health, the period piece, element of the the asylum and the the mental hospitals and stuff like using that as your setting i i started to get more interested when we were back in reality so maybe just more of that would have probably helped like kind of ground things a bit or go like nuts like it was weird like it just it didn't do all of either because like i also really liked you know like the the house where the twins were and making the spell and you know going to those different rooms at the end even to like make the wake up thing but then why it felt like that was the last thing to do was to wake up mother mabuka 
that felt like the last thing to do. It felt like then I had to do one last random little errand so I could open a door and get the ending. Like, I'm, I was kind of expecting more game. So I'd say either do more of the magical madness of it all, right? Or give me more time in the reality, because I... It was it was interesting seeing how they overlapped at the very end. But also, like, they just kind of wheeled in the guy who owns the asylum, and it's like, I am the Mandarin. It was very strange. I don't know. It's not as fun when they tell you what it's supposed to be. Well, first off, that's a that's a personal thing. Second, I'm saying, like, if you're going to use a period piece for your dressing, right, especially something real, I'd, I'd like it to be more involved. And it, it felt like it was finally cooking to something. I liked seeing the reality and the magic start to overlap. But then it just kind of felt like, done. Like, was this originally released? Because it's in chapters. Was it originally released episodically? Sometimes I like open endings. This is one where I wish they made it a little more clear. Yeah, there's, I just, I feel like there's a difference between an open ending and just kind of ending without, like, more information. Like, Breath of the Wild is like, or Breath of the Wild, or I guess either. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. The last couple of Zelda games, those I consider a little bit more of, like, an open ending. It's like, hey, you did the thing, sure, but it didn't, you know, it didn't end with, like, oh, and they all lived happily ever after. It's, and then they kept living their lives. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, okay. Like, it didn't, you don't really know much at the end. Um, other than, congratulations, you did the thing you set out to do. Whereas this just kind of felt like, I don't know. I like that it was a doctor's office. I liked until I got it confused. I kind of liked it more when it was like, you have to get the monster to, to cry and let it out and that'll make him feel better. I really thought that's what was going for. Not let a monster drink your tears. But I guess then that kind of became part of the element because Remorn said like, I feed off of you and your misery. So then I'm like, did it have to do with the experiments that were done on the mom and the aunt in the asylum? What was the experiment he wanted to do on Fran? Did that have any meaning to it at all? Like, I guess I'm just not... Everything was starting to, like, come together, overlap, and then I felt like it just kind of didn't. You know? Or, like, give me more of both. Because I feel like it just didn't give me a completed thought or ending because it didn't even leave me in a place where like, Oh, like now I have to decide was Fran, you know, being experimented on or traumatized or is the magic real? And she's the keeper of the key. It didn't really give me any of that. I don't know. It was very odd. Like I felt like it had like a little it, it had like a little bit more to do and it just didn't. I don't know. Like I liked the idea and I I really liked that in the middle was like the calm like, that was the pleasant level. Like, I totally um, got that right, where it's, like, the 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 foresty, you're made of wood now level is, like, it, it was, for the most part, pleasant. Um, I liked that pacing of it, because um, I think the, it's kind of preying on your, the whole time, you're like, well, this is too nice. We, we just saw a lot of things. But I... I think it's pacing is off in showing us 
the all the hospital stuff that was so much like that was so much i kind of and again that kind of then then you need to bring that level of in intensity or detail or darkness to your climax because again like floomp by the cat like i was like oh like I, it startled me but after like a couple seconds and like that was it i'm like oh i think the cat's gonna be okay i've seen you do worse things to less important less centric characters right i don't know i know that's a little bit more like formula objective than subjective thought um I just, it's just that, that, that just, that opening makes everything feel like such a lack of balance that it, I kind of wish you were like getting them constantly throughout. Like, just like how, like, oh, the girls in the well were the twins, the twins were experimented on. It also makes me wonder if, since they were separated in the airship, if they were like happy now. Like, they did kind of get their... They did get their wish, essentially. Um, I also feel like the, the the reality realm level things wasn't quite explained enough for me, but also, like, I... I'd believe it if that was just, like... Something that, like... It, like a like an ideology that does kind of exist outside of this game is just like oh, oh like I could just be ignorant of that concept, um, but I I liked the idea. I just I just wish things were kind of a little bit more streamlined because I guess with five chapters, and they said like five realities, right? And maybe that is the twist. Maybe with, like, kind of knowing that, playing it again, like, you can feel like, oh, you're in a different reality, you're in a different reality. Because I guess it's Asylum, Ants and pine cones can talk now, Tree Place, or no, the house, Tree Place. Traveling with Skeleton Man. almost back home slide into whatever happened last I just wish it kind of like melded you know thank you whoever's sending little hearts I don't know I'm not mad or anything I hate this feeling of like you know oh well now I have to like like I, I, I'm always honest. I don't pretend or need to give the impression that I like everything. I'd rather have an actual conversation. But it's also the internet, um, so I guess I have to remind everybody. Like, a, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing just because like it didn't hit it for me. B, I think it's also just I liked the first like two thirds of it so much and was so intrigued. That like it kind of it kind of just like deflated me. At the end. You know. Like I kind of, when I was like waking back up in the house, and everything was happening with the aunt, and the doctor, I'm like, oh shit! Like there's something. There's something going down. Like there's something really cool happening here. I can't wait to find out what's going on. And then it was kind of like too much of too many different things at once to where I felt like I didn't have a footing on anything. And again, it could be that like the realities ideology or the, 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 the concept of the game maybe is just a little different for me. Cause I kind of wrapped realities existing in with, are these creatures real? Like that's the same thing. Like if the rea the five layers of reality are real and the creatures are real, that's one option. The other option is it's it's rea it's the real world, right? Like or this is an asylum 
you're stuck at the hospital, something happened to your medication, something happened to you, like experiments, what have you. I maybe maybe that's kind of the barrier for me is I kind of segmented them in such a binary way. Because it seems to be that the realities and the creatures are real. And that's not left up in the air anymore. But we were talking to everyone in like a floating room. And we were shot and then revived. I don't know. It was just a lot to kind of take in all at once. And yeah, I mean... I wish instead of, like, I feel like this could have been paced out just better. Again, having all of the the hospital stuff all at the beginning, it's way too much, way too soon. It's very numbing and overwhelming, at least for me. I think moments where you're going back and forth, like, almost like those are the transition moments between the different dimensions or different areas or different rooms. Like, you enter a room and suddenly you're back at the asylum there's a kid there, like, you can go back to previous rooms, but you can't go forward. And maybe that might be too much for a game like this, I don't know. Um, easier for me to say than to make. I'll always acknowledge that. Um, but, like, I think sparsing that out, I think, would have made it, like, smarter. And then, again, like, start to... It is more palatable, and also, like, shooting that whole like just massive negativity and like how scary and overwhelming that whole beginning was. It kind of makes the, the rest of it kind of flounder by comparison, but you don't really notice it until the very end because it's like, Oh, like, you know, the, the ants are kind of like helping you and you're kind of learning what things are outside of the asylum and then you have the house and it's like, oh, the creepy twins are up to something and like you need to stop them and save Mr. Midnight. Excuse me. And then you have a happy place where you're made of wood. And then you have the skeleton boy stuff. It's like all those feel very different. I feel like if it, you disperse the hospital stuff interchangeably throughout all this and like start to kind of question like what is real? Where are you at? You know, because you could just integrate that back into it because you just kind of do that at the end anyway. You're in the real world digging up your parents' grave and your grave, question mark. And then you get kidnapped and then you're in your aunt's house, but then suddenly you're in the MC Escher hellscape house at the end. Like, you could have been doing more of that bouncing back and forth um, instead of doing it all at the beginning. That's just kind of me, though. I know I'm also... I've never taken a class in, like, structure that involves, like, gameplay. It's just story structure for me. Um, and it's also a personal taste and the like. Um, my opinion shouldn't matter that much. These are just for fun. You know, I don't... I'm not yay or naying Julius Caesaring, you know... Shows, movies, games, anything. Just hanging out and trying out stuff. Um, but I don't know. I thought it was fine. I just... I didn't love the ending. Um, and like I said, I think... I also think there's something about, like, overwhelmingly scary and then, like, pleasant throughout, like, the middle. And then trying to pick it back up at the end. It just didn't do it. Like, that structure didn't really resonate for me. Um, but I didn't hate it. Um, I really liked um, the, the characters. I didn't always love the gameplay, but this also isn't a game I play very much, so it was very like different for me and different isn't bad. Um, I think my favorite part was probably, um, probably the, the twins house. It was like just the right amount of like eerie and, and unsettling and 
like again like the switching back and forth and like am i at the bottom of a well pretending i'm in this like house or am i in a house getting transported back to reality um or this realm right um i just i don't know like i said i i want to feel the the weight of the realities in the story evenly um and it just kind of it was kind of like a really fast ending and i feel like it didn't really need to be um that like that last chunk um kind of threw me off a little bit but also it's an episodic release so it's also like why did i just end up in a room where everyone threw exposition at me and it's like well like this was episodic right this was chapter five it's time to have the confrontation have the character happen address the story i've played games where like they were originally released episodically and like i've always kind of felt that like kind of stop and go stop and go stop and go kind of thing because it's like it could have been days, weeks, months, years between chapters, you know? So that definitely does impact, uh, game games, like story a little bit. Um, but I don't know. That's just me. It's also, like I said, not, not the end of the world. I don't have to, not the, The game doesn't have to, like, dip in value because I was like, I didn't really like the ending. Um, and also, endings are the hardest part to to nail. Like, there have been, not a lot, there have been a couple of games that we've played where I'm like, I just wasn't having a good time throughout, you know? Um, and there will be more in the future. This definitely wasn't one of those. There was still a lot that I liked. There was still a lot that I found interesting. Um, I'd like to play more games like this just kind of maybe with a little bit more i think going hard in the first two ch like especially the first chapter for the horror the scary unsettling elements but like i think going harder in the first two chapters again like maybe not episodic games are the best thing for me or i need to play more so i can kind of get used to that structure a little bit more um but I like the sort of, if nothing else, like the pseudo Alice in Wonderland spin. Um, I like the art design a lot. I liked getting to know a lot of these characters and the worlds. I just, like I said, I just kind of wish the, the ending kind of did more to service its own story. And I wish the beginning wasn't just this reservoir of intensity like spread that out a little more you know that's a very it's a very real very spicy uh theme history and setting that you're using for this for this story use more of it you know in my opinion um but that's just me um and yeah i hope you guys still enjoyed um i still had fun checking it out and you know getting into the story and try to figure out what's going on. And I still had a good time. I just, that ending was just so bizarre. And who knows, maybe, maybe with a little bit of time, I'll, I'll like, or, you know, a couple of mindful kind takes will kind of nudge me in the right direction. I'm supposed to kind of go in. Cause like I said, there's a lot to the structure that like kind of doesn't quite gel with me, but that doesn't make anything bad. Um, there's lots of things that are, good that i it just doesn't vibe with me and that's okay um i don't know it was still an interesting time i hope you guys still enjoyed yourself um so i think thursday this upcoming thursday which will be the seventh i think um this upcoming thursday we'll be playing uh sucker for love um which will be a nice break from uh you know upsetting heavy things and um i'm just i'm just looking forward to kind of kicking back and um you know doing something like that and um we'll start figuring out what games to start playing 
afterwards. Um, again, consider becoming a member. Um, that's where I throw up the list of like, here's the big list of games I'm interested in. And then people kind of help me, uh, you know, narrow it down or like give feedback. And like, I, you know, I feel more comfortable like having a conversation with somebody in that setting because like, not everyone's going to chime in and whatever, like you're dropping the, the five bucks a month to support me. Like I, I trust you not to like troll me on a game and that's how we found um, unpacking. That's how I started to like get more into uh, possibly playing Fran Bo. Um, so thank you again to the channel members for hanging out. Thank you everyone for watching and clicking. Um, consider donating or becoming a member um, to support me. Or if uh, you don't want to, or you can't right now, don't worry, you're helping out by hanging out. Just make sure you're clicking all the things, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, following me on social medias, even the shitty ones. <laughs> um, watching old streams, old videos, new ones, making sure that your notifiers are set to all when you ring the bell and all that good crap. Um, it's tons of free ways to support me. Thank you for doing those things. Um, and uh, I don't know. Thank you now to everyone in the chat, but also thank you to everyone in advance for being nice when I'm not in love with something, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with the game. I don't, I don't like having to get so weirdly defensive about it, but just want to throw that disclaimer out there. Um, just because I didn't love the ending doesn't mean it's bad. Um, but yeah, uh, there you guys go. Thank you, Lana, for modding. Um, don't forget, guys, just like every uh, video and every stream, uh, there's a link next to all the social medias, merch store, all that good crap. Uh, there's a link in the description to a card that'll send you to resources for social awareness and education, mental health, and crisis science, Trevor Project resources, things like that. You should use someone you don't need them. I think the fireworks just stopped too, so perfect. And it'll be nice and quiet while I stress out. That also really didn't help the stream at all. And I, silly me, I thought a Monday night, but whatever. Um, thanks for hanging out. Um, thanks for keeping me company, encouraging me to keep, you know, trying new things and, um, you know, not being afraid to, you know, try to fall in love with something and it just doesn't happen, you know? Um, but, uh, main channel video should be dropping tomorrow. I hope people would like that. Um, yeah. Uh, Thursday we'll be playing Sucker for Love and I'll throw up some things for the members to start figuring out. Um, the next list of games um, to start playing in the future. There's there's a couple that are coming up soon that I want to play, um, but that probably will be until like the fall. Um, like Lies of P, the Pinocchio, Bloodborne, Timothy Chalamet game. <laughs> the char the main character looks like Timothy Chalamet before somebody gets excited. Um, anyway, uh, if anyone has a grimace shake, please mail it to me. I really want to try one in an unironic way. I'm not gonna use it as a prop to pretend I'm dead. I really want to try it. I like milkshakes and fun flavors. And the internet is taking everything from me and not giving me enough. And we're about to hit our limit. Be safe. Hope to see you next time I upload or go live. Be mindful of others. Wear masks if you go out. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.